Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are diving into a crucial topic for anyone working with APIs, which is API security testing. As API become the backbone of digital communication between applications, ensuring their security is more vital than ever. We will walk you through practical examples and demonstrate how to test for vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, no rate limiting and many more. By end of this video, we will have a solid understanding of how to test APIs. Before we start, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon for the latest update on cybersecurity and tech. First, you need to understand what is API. APIs APIs is application programming interfaces are a crucial component of modern software systems enabling different applications to interact with each other and share data seamlessly. However, just like any other software component, APIs are also vulnerable to security threats that can lead to severe consequences including data breaches, unauthorized access and compromised systems. So, API penetration testing is one of the favorite attack surfaces where the attackers can use to gain into further access to the application or server. API penetration testing is the process of identifying vulnerabilities in an application programming interface which is API to ensure that it is secure against potential attacks. This type of testing involves sim simulating real world attacks on the API by attempting attempting to exploit known vulnerabilities or identifying new ones. The goal of API penetration testing is to identify security weaknesses and provide recommendations to fix them. Penetration testing involves a combination of manual and automation testing techniques to discover vulnerabilities that might be missed during standard testing procedures. By performing API penetration testing, organizations can better understand the security posture of their APIs, safeguard against potential attacks and ensure the protection of sensitive data. Okay, so here I am using a demo.testfire.net web application for uh, testing. As you know, you, we can use this application for a practice or a demo uh, testing this this application is an open source application so we can use it for uh, testing uh, here this application uh, are built with a front-end programming language that communicates with the application programming interface which is api developers will typically create some sort of api documentation which helps other developers to understand and use their api so swagger is a framework that makes creating this document easier if left on production server these files can help hackers to identify vulnerabilities design flaws hidden functionality and much more these files provide a tremendous amount of information and solution not be overlooked if you notice that the target you are in we are interacting interacting with an api or communicating with an you should immediately look for a exposed api documentation and here it is using the rest api uh, collection of Altera Mutual. Also, this module uh, includes the uh, Swagger collection uh, for login mechanism, view account information, then for a transfer fund between accounts, feedback where we submit and review feedback, admin where we can add and change user details, and logout mechanism. So, while testing, we will uh, try to uh, test a uh, login mechanism by doing brute force on that page then uh, checking that the token is validating or not and many other uh, attacking scenarios where we can expose the sensitive information through the collection so firstly we'll perform uh, attack scenarios on login mechanism which includes two endpoints first endpoint contains the get method and second which contains the post method get method is like uh, if user is logged in with the username it will return the, return the token in post method we have to generate the bearer token by entering the username and password combination for uh, logged in 
so here by default it contains the username as a j smith and password as a demo 1234 so i click on the try it out option and uh, just normally trying to intercept that request in burp suit uh, to perform we just have to click on that execute option and the request is intercepted in the burp i hit that request to the repeater for manipulation in repeater tab the request is giving options as j smith is now logged in with authorization token so here for a uh, sql injection i just enter this single quote and hyphen hyphen as i do, as i am assuming that i don't know the password for it and i am entering any string in that parameter and hit that request after hitting that request it also gives me the 200 ok response and showing that the j smith single quote hyphen hyphen is now logged in with the authorization token so here the endpoint is vulnerable to the sql injection by using that anyone can uh, just intercept request and manipulate the data to access the api now let's see another example on login mechanism as we uh, seen in previous example that it is vulnerable to the sql injection so we'll try to uh, perform the brute force attack on username parameter so i just normally intercept that request in burp suit to check it is vulnerable or not the request is intercepted i am normally hitting that request to the intruder tab and in uh, intruder tab the request is in imported successfully i am just adding dollar sign sign to the j smith parameter which is the username and i have a list of uh, in payload parameter i have a list of some common uh, payloads which will be used in a sql injection for uh, bypassing the login credential i am adding the list which i have downloaded from the internet and hitting the start attack option here after hitting that option it directly shows a status code of 200 uh, 400 except one request so uh, it, the request is getting encrypted so i'll in send that request to the repeater and here it gets uh, confused so i replace that parameter with uh, admin single quote hyphen hyphen to check whether it is working or not and after changing i'll normally hit that request and it gives a 200 ok option which shows that the admin is now logged in so on this scenario we can understand that it also contained the admin user by which we can log in as a admin and also we can bypass the uh, password parameter as we have know that it is vulnerable to the sql injection in our third example we'll perform attacks on a uh, transfer api where uh, it requires the authorization token which is provided on the successful login and account id so before uh, entering into the lab first we'll generate the authorization token from the login here i'll execute the endpoint and it gives a 200 ok response with authorization token for j smith user i normally copy that token and here which lab we have to solve which enters the last 10 transaction of account in that authorization section i am pasting that token and as i know the account id which is 84.02 for checking their last 10 transactions i'll execute that 
and in response it is showing the last 10 transactions of account 80002 so in the scenario we will intercept that request in burp suit and uh, send that request to uh, repeater tab and uh, to check the IDOR I am normally hitting that request in repeater as it is vulnerable to the IDOR vulnerability or not so in that request it contains the account number in URL parameter and in case of uh, IDOR I normally just replace the last digit with 5 and it gives the response for account 80005 with their last 10 transactions which will disclose the information of other account also let's uh, check on the other parameter where uh, we can execute the IDOR or not here in uh, in a get method of account number it also asks for authorization token and account number here I am pasting the same authorization token which we have, which we have generated for uh, user J Smith and normally intercept uh, it executing the request and it gives the uh, balance and account details which will associated with account number so i am executing that request uh, in burp suit and sending it to the repeater here in repeater the request gets uh, executed successfully which gives the 200 ok response now i am replacing the account id with 7 and which discloses the account I, account id of 8 4907 which includes the 150 dollar balance and other data which has the last 10 transactions of account debits and credits information normally we can see that the disclosing the sensitive information of uh, other account let's see another example where we'll see that the uh, authorization uh, token validation is proper or not here in uh, post login method i am uh, hitting the other credit entering the other other credentials of admin user which i have already known and i'm entering as a admin as a username and admin as a password and normally executing that endpoint after hitting the endpoint it uh, successfully giving 200 ok response as showing that admin user is logged in with the authorization token i am normally copying that authorization token and here in other endpoint of uh, account uh, other api of account where the endpoint which contains the get method and retains the list of account owned by the user so i am entering authorization token in that endpoint and it normally giving the response 200 ok which is ok and it shows the accounts which are associated with the token or user request into repeater and in repeater tab i am erasing a little part of authorization token and hitting that request and still it is showing that accounts which are associated with the user so as we can see it all the expected result is that it should display the bad request or redirect to the login page but it is not showing this type of uh, error which uh, is for 401 unauthorized by manipulating a single uh, sentence of that request but still after hitting it shows the 200 ok response with 
account user details using this type of scenarios you can test the swagger collection using burp suit where you can perform a multiple attacks of uh, to gain information or for testing on a free demo websites so uh, as we have seen uh, auth auth authorization to, uh, improper authorization token validation also we have seen the sql injection for uh, that we just have to instruct the developer that you have to implement the strong authentication mechanism ensure that the strong authorization practices are implemented also validate the input and responses rate limiting should be there monitoring and logging functionality should be there encrypt data uh, which we have which is transmitted over apis and also perform the regular api security testing so this type of suggestions we can give to the developer so uh, to secure their api or also protect from uh, threats so that's it for today's video on uh, api security testing if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends thanks for watching and stay safe out